till it a hun. I came here to conquer. Lanes bring the beef. I tell them no donka. They wanna play games. I shock them like Blanca. They still rudimentary. I'm tough like Tonka. And let me get this off my chest. I'm hearing going nowhere, so hate to take a rest. Ain't nothing handed, just working hard, sweating. You can take that to the bank. I know I did bet. Welcome to episode 6 of Eye of the Storm. I, of course, am your host, Tempest. Please be sure to hit the like button, and if you're new and like the content, be sure to leave a sub and hit the notification bell to know when the next video goes up. It really helps the channel out, and if you haven't seen the previous episodes, you can give those a look. Um, I started a playlist for ease of access, and I do other things such as montages, uh, my own music, and sometimes I combine them. But uh, that's it for now. With that out of the way, let's get started. So here's an interesting subject this week. Because this can apply to quite a few things, we're just going to let you know talking about tunnel vision. Now most people should already know what this is, because it's a thing even outside of gaming in general. But we're going to talk about it in gaming, obviously, mostly. So being so focused on something that you can't see everything that's going on around you is what tunnel vision is for those that may not know. This may or may not help you in some cases. It honestly depends on the person, in my opinion, and observation, but when it comes to being competitive, it can definitely hurt you in rough situations. So like always, let's talk about an example. You're playing a game, and things get really intense, and suddenly, you're hyper-focused on your task. Now this could be something like getting that kill streak, uh, the penta, moving the payload, reaching your goal and not missing your Q or jump or tech or perhaps trying so hard to clutch the win. Normally, being focused might not be such a bad thing. However, you're so focused and you miss a tiny detail that costs you the match. So in reality, your focus worked against you in this setting. You were a victim of tunnel vision. Maybe you got picked off with an ult, timed out, or uh, just missed your opportunity, your window to do something important. You may have even missed something that your teammate cued or said. This is how tunnel vision can affect what you do. Now again, it can help, so it's not always bad. But there are times you just don't want to block out the extra information that's going on. You might want to pay attention to your surroundings, get a grip on your situation, and just be able to make smarter and more efficient decisions. In the rare situation where I was in a Halo tournament, yeah, shocker, I know, I paid attention to the situation and did the opposite of what my team wanted me to do right off the bat, which was to pass the flag on to a more experienced teammate. However, given the aggressive nature of the opponent, they weren't aware that I had the flag, nor would they have assumed that I would hold on to it if I did have the flag. And I paused a moment, and then just kept going on like normal. I didn't rush, I didn't do anything out of the ordinary. Well, they went for the wrong person, and we won because I read the room. Now this is just an example of where not having tunnel vision worked out, because had I have just gone with the give it to this guy because he's the MVP strategy, it would have cost us the game. Now let's look at fighting games, because, well, you know what, special up. Look, it, it, this is like episode 6, you guys get it. Being focused on the uh, win is great, but uh, it can help you tune out the crowd and help you keep from being distracted. It can also help you from noticing important details like we've already mentioned. Something that can help you uh, not work harder? <laughs> you know what I mean, bro. Look, let's look at life bars. Are you reaching when you don't have to? Chasing down someone when you have the clear advantage? That's bad. Tunnel vision can cause you to make mistakes or even just play into your opponent's ploy. What about the timer? Th their meter? Your meter. Positioning. 
There's a host of things to look out for, and paying attention could mean the difference between victory and defeat. You have your opponent on the run, and you're rushing them down. What's their health or meter situation? Think about it. Can they wake up EXDP or just regular DP? Or can they wake up Super or Rage? Or X-Ray or, you know, what have you. Being aware of that could save you from a lot of frustration. Maybe a little embarrassment, too. Look, in the end, the point is Tunnel Vision is a double-edged sword. I won't say it's inherently good or bad, but what I will say is it might be bad for you depending on how heavy your focus can be. I personally don't like being too focused, because when I get Tunnel Vision, it hurts me. This is even in real life. So I listen to music to split my focus. Just enough to not become so engrossed that I miss things going on around me. While others need to be free of distractions to pay more attention to what's going on. So it kind of just depends. My advice is to find out what works best for you. I always say, bring as much home with you as you can when you compete. You definitely need to be aware of yourself. This can help you to achieve your own life goals as well. Tunnel vision can be a blessing or a curse in life, so be wary of how it affects you, if it's even a problem for you at all. So that's my take on the subject. How do you feel about it? Uh, do you agree or disagree? Heck, do you have an entirely different take? Let me know. Use the comment section or other ways to contact me via social media. Now, as always, links are in the description. And shout out to Korean Panda for the spark of uh, inspiration for this episode. Uh, his channel should pop up like always, and I'll leave his Twitter as well. But that'll be it. So I'll catch you next time. And remember to like and share this video with a friend. And until the next video, take care of each other, be safe, press buttons, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Go!